Hey everybody, welcome. And today I want to talk about dramatic demonstrations, more specifically five day challenges and where they sit inside the linchpin model. It's more or less like a linchpin in action. So you will see how these two giants, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, build that inside their marketing campaign. We will go over the numbers also to give you an idea of the power in case that you have not implemented your own linchpin uh, yet. This is a brilliant example. Um, and as you can see here on the screen, and we'll dive in a little bit more in depth very soon, but as you can see here, when I map these things out, I literally leave no stone unturned. So I have everything uh, here, starting with the traffic, and we'll talk about the ads in, in a minute. The actual funnel, we then the VIP upsell that they have here. And in this case, I bought the VIP. Um, so I've done both the tracks, following those people that bought and those people that have not bought. Then we have the all onboarding section, which basically is everything that happens before the challenge goes live. Then here we have the challenge uh, itself with, uh, with all the emails, when they start pitching, when the offer is going, what things they put on Facebook uh, and whatnot. And then we have also the, the follow up, the ascension. That's basically everything that happens after the challenge um, is finished and how they're trying to get more sales also after the event is done. We are not going to go in the nitty gritty details of what's inside the emails or what components are on the landing pages. We will, we will touch that briefly, but this is more about the whole linchpin model and how they are using that. And I need to make this a little bit bigger. So you can start following that, that here. So those familiar with the linchpin funnel model, they will know what this chart means. And just a quick uh, overview, linchpin is a business model that Russell Brunson came up with and is promoting quite heavily now, which is all based around continuity. And one of his mentors says if, or said, if you don't have continuity, you don't have a business. So that's what this is all about. And everything that happens, more or less conversion converges in a level one, a level two, or a level three inside your continuity. Again, we are not going to go deep into what the linchpin uh, is and how it all works. There is stuff that you can find on the internet about this already. Uh, but what we're going to concentrate on is here is the dramatic demonstration, the first one here, where you either have a challenge or a webinar, you then sell a bulk uh, offer with continuity in either your uh, level one or uh, your level two. So what is the continuity that Tony and Dean, and I have to grab my keyboard here. So what is the, the continuity that they are selling? They have their company called Mastermind and it's $47 per month. So everything breaks down to that. They want to create more members and also keep them, keep them longer. That's the business, $47 a month. So that could be like their, their level one here. Mifki stands, stands for most incredible free gift, gift ever. Something that Russell Brunson uses, Russell Brunson uses a lot in uh, magnetic marketing and also in his uh, ClickFunnels business. Tony and Dean, they are not using uh, the Mifki. So that that shows you that it is part of it, but obviously you don't have to start there at all. They are doing everything at level two here with their continuity bulk offer, which basically they are selling a course, which they call the, which they call the launch pad, as you can see here. Uh, and it's $997, but it just doesn't stop there. We see a lot of people running challenges and that's what they sell. They sell like a one time, a one time investment of 
a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred to two and a half thousand. Some do more, but they don't have a recurring revenue tacked at the back end. So that basically means is that you you work your socks off for five days, you get this massive amount of money, and then once it's done, it's done. That's not the linchpin model. The linchpin model is making sure that after this all stops and you don't have a challenge or you don't have a webinar, that you still keep on getting money in every single month. And this is where the continuity comes in. So what they are selling is their course. That's their bulk offer. Then they tag on, I think they give three months of the mastermind, can be one month can be 14 days that's entirely um, up to you but you include the an, a certain amount of time that they can stay in your continuity and then you start billing them monthly i know for a fact that the reason why tony and dean they offer three months because that has to do with the product or the service that they're selling basically it's a platform where you promote the course that you have built and not everybody is going to be able to get that course ready within one month. So they want to make sure that they have the highest possible stick rate. So that's why they give people uh, 90 days. And if you look inside their offer here, maybe a little bit too small uh, to see, but it's eight weeks. So they do two months of coaching to make sure that people launch their course or create their course, launch it, and put it on mastermind because they know, uh, and this is with all SaaS products, as soon as you have created something and you put it live out there, you want to keep it. So as soon as people start putting something on inside the platform, it's very difficult to let go. So that's how they have, that's how they try to get a very, very high uh, stick rate. I can give you other examples of other people doing the same thing. But that's the philosophy behind it. And before we dive into the challenge, I want to show you a couple of uh, a couple of numbers. So this is huge because obviously Tony and Dean, they are huge names in uh, the industry here. And I think they mentioned that they had between 400 and 600,000 people signed up for their challenge, which obviously is a massive amount of people. So obviously, the bigger the number, exponentially, everything else behind also uh, increases. But don't stare yourself blind on that, like thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to have 400,000 attendees, so I might as well do nothing. That's the wrong way of thinking because you can have challenges with 50, 60 people and still make $100,000 out of it, uh, for example, just from that challenge. And if you then have a continuity program, you just created some recurring revenue for you. It just all depends on how you how you set it up. And in, in that way, this, I know I've, I've hacked it and uh, I've gone quite deep into it. But if you are just starting out or you, you don't have the name Tony or Dean yet, this might not be the best challenge to uh, to start modeling and to start copying because they're doing it free. They can get away with it uh, free, but people who pay, pay more attention. So if you're not in a bracket yet where you have a huge following, it's much better to charge for your challenge up front and make sure that the people actually do attend. They, they have the luxury of maybe a million people signed up for for the challenge and then 400,000 showed up. So that's 60% or 40%, so there's 60% drop rate. If you're doing it free and you have 100 people and you have a 60% drop rate, then it it becomes problematic. But, But if you charge people, you have a much higher attendance rate. So that being said, keep that in mind. Now, uh, and these are estimations. This is stuff listening to them throughout the presentation. I I think the first day uh, Dean mentioned there were 400,000 people uh, there. The pitch is on day three. So this is something we'll go over a few things that I have noticed on this challenge that might be good for you to copy. 
Uh, so they did the pitch on, on day three. It is normal that every day people drop out. Yeah, like you, it, it can be as dramatic as 50% of the people that don't show up for the second day anymore. So it's, it's a fair guess that about 200,000 people were still on there when um, Dean was talking about the offer on day three, which is the, uh, the launch pad. So if they have heard that, 200,000 people heard it, and let's say that there is a 10% conversion rate, then 10,000 people bought at 997, so that means that they've probably done about 20 million. Now, they offer several different payment plans also, and, and on the, um, after the bonus day, they, they even added one more uh, payment plan in because they had either you pay 997 up front or you do three payments of 380 but then near the end like that was part of the of their ascension they had a six payment option uh, also and they then also started offering uh, paypal which is i think this is the second time i've seen um, them doing them doing that but they don't give these options all at the same time because the, obviously the whole idea is that you try to get as many people as possible sign up for 997. And then if you have to do a payment plan, because usually not everybody is going to, not, not going to pay. So uh, if you have, maybe they do two payments, so two times 380, then they get about 720 bucks, but a lot of people will, will, will drop out sooner. So if you have like, six months payment plan, then your numbers keep on uh, keep on dropping. So the whole idea is to get as many people as possible at uh, 997. And then obviously once that that pool of, of, of uh, your clientele, you, you feel like, okay, we've maxed that one out, then uh, you start giving other uh, option here straight from the back, they do the three payments, but the six payments, for example, was not mentioned during the challenge that just came, I think, on the, the second to last day of the Ascension. Uh, so what I'm talking about is like two, two, days, two, two days after the challenge uh, finished. But what about continuity? And so this is where it all sits. So they, they have a $47 per month continuity. So that means that out of those 20,000 people, let's say that everybody, uh, everybody stays, uh, and even if this number is lower, there's still a huge amount of money because that's almost a million per month or 11.3 11, million. Uh, that's not per, that is per year. So this needs to be per year. Sorry, ADD, perfectionist. So that's 11 million per year extra because remember that mastermind they've been running that for quite a few years already so this is extra revenue that they just created for themselves on top of what they have already this is the one-time windfall the one-time thing like the 997 that they got from from the course but now they know that on top of all these people they have already in mastermind they just increase their monthly revenue by another million just by running uh, running this uh, challenge and if we're looking at uh, and this is goes a little bit gets a little bit technical now explaining what the SLO is, the self-liquidating uh, offer, and the way how Russell teaches this now in 2CCX is this is your SLO, like the course that you're selling at 997. So basically this is the amount of money that you can put back into your marketing, into your ads, because this is, this is the business, because this keeps on coming back over and over and over, not just the one time. And knowing this, if we then start looking at the amount of ads that they have been running for this five day challenge is enormous. Like for example, these, I took some snapshots of all the ads that they run specifically for this five day challenge. This was like about 14, 15 days before the challenge 
then the next is a couple of days later, then you can already see that there is a lot more ads there. Look at that, keeps on going, just keep looking here. All these ads here, a lot of them are split tests, uh, obviously. So what they've probably done is in um, this first this first group of ads, they wanted to see, okay, what kind of uh, creative is working best, uh, what kind of messaging, as you can see here, it's mainly videos here. This is just one, uh, uh, one creative here, but the rest is all video. And they kept on the videos, but they started putting a lot more just uh, shots on there um, also. And then you can see here, this is then another snapshot, I think, two two three days before uh, the challenge when ad spend really is being ramped up uh, another like a gazillion amount of ads that they were uh, that they were running and obviously they can spend all this amount of money because they are not looking at what are they going to make here they're looking at what they are going to make per month extra on top monthly recurring uh, revenue so if they spend two million on ads uh, here they know okay after two months we're gonna be break even because that's the amount of money that we are going to make after uh, after two months but they probably spend uh, a lot more um, I've also seen YouTube ads for example uh, they've done probably I'm not sure if they don't TikTok um, I haven't really followed uh, that but a huge amount of money that they can spend on ads and then we have the sales pages here obviously there are certain uh, sections that you have to that you have to follow that has to be um, in on your on your page we're not going to go into detail on that uh, but there's one more uh, thing that I want to I want to point out to you and I have to see um, if I can find it here um, that is on the pitch here so as you can see here on day three that's why this uh, beautiful long arrow uh, is there. And this was the VIP, um, the VIP platform. On day three, Dean pitched the offer and then repeated that for day four and five. And then here uh, we have the whole ascension with then, as you can see here, the order page now uh, extended, which basically means that on this day, and if I zoom in, so here they still only offered the two options 997 and 380 uh, times three and then all the way near the end like one of the last days of the of the ascension they offered still 997 they took away the 380 but then it's six times 197 and there is indeed a uh, a fee on there uh, because this comes down to $1,200, which is about 20% more expensive. So if you do payment plans, you have to make sure that there is a difference in it. So that was near, uh, that was near the end. But let's go back and let's look at the framework because that's the most important thing. What we see a lot also on webinars is that people, they teach too much. Remember, the challenge is there to sell your framework, not to teach the thing. Whatever you're selling, in this case, the launch pad, this is where you teach the thing. What you do in a challenge or in a webinar, you talk about the framework, like what makes this different? Why does it work? And why they need to join? So you create enough desire and curiosity to make sure that people join. If you start giving away too much and you start teaching too much, you're actually talking yourself out of uh, the sale. This is very important. And normally in a outline and the perfect webinar follows more or less the same structure is that you always start with the origin story and the vehicle the vehicle itself, and this has to be vehicle beliefs, where you take away, oh my goodness, I can't type, where you take away the vehicle false beliefs. So that's why on day one, 
it's all about shaking off your limiting beliefs because they know this is the biggest thing that their target audience suffers with like why would I sell my information? Who am I? I'm not this person. I'm not that person. Who's going to buy my course? Who is going to listen to me? Excuse me. So that's what they mean with shake off your limiting beliefs. Yeah. And only after they have done that, they can they they can move into the next the next section which is taking away all the internal false beliefs why you can do this too and this is where Dean start talking about find your uh, your bullseye is more or less honing in on the one thing that you're good at and on which you build your program uh, around and then the next one all has to do with external fault beliefs where you have all the things like yeah but I don't have this and I don't have that that has to do with the resources that you think ah oh, before I can do this I need I need a better camera I need a better computer I need this uh, I need that that's all not true these are all the external fault belie false beliefs um, and they call that the three secrets to launching and then normally on um, day four, you have the stack and the close and you have the day five, the Q&A. However, we start seeing, and this is a model that you should follow, is that you don't wait until day four to start selling because you know that every day people will drop out more. And obviously all these people, people that you lose between day three and day four, they will not see your offer anymore. Grant Cardone takes this one step further and he start pitching on day one within 20 minutes uh, but that's obviously Grant Cardone people expect that uh, from him Tony and Dean have a different uh, they, they have different personality but the first four days more or less is all tapping in on the emotional brain like because this is when people will buy people will buy when they are emotionally triggered and then they start justifying that decision that they've made and then the logical brain comes into comes into play and we have a little bit of an overlap between emotional and logic on uh, on day four or when you are doing your uh, when you're doing your stack and your close and that's why there is also the the q a that's quite standard which is also here the implementation where they say okay this is how you implement it now uh, because this is all logic and then Q&A and then they also have a bonus uh, a bonus day at the end which is part of the of the ascension so your big takeaway uh, of this is that if you have not or if you're stuck in that webinar challenge kind of thing where you sell one ticket work your socks up for five days and and that's it just tag a continuity on there include like one month two months or three months uh, of your continuity in there and then start charging people afterwards because that will free up a huge amount of money that you can throw down into your marketing and scale it if you have any questions feel free to reach out i know this was quite technical video i hope you uh, enjoyed this and i'll look forward to seeing you on the next one